Nature is not a place to visit, it's our home. Nature is all that we see. Animals, insects disappearing into their surroundings, using deceptions, disguises, lures. Nature is all that we hear. The call of an eagle, the hiss of ocean spray, the rumble of thunder, the doings of a cricket. The wonderful beauty of nature, the crucial, fragile affinity between animal life and their environment. All of this is World of the Wild. Connecting every environment on Earth, few animals other than birds have evolved to inhabit the endless skies of our planet. And it is a flight that stands alone as one of the most inspired and inspiring adaptations possessed by any living creature. While not bound to the Earth, birds of flight are nonetheless connected to it and their behaviours and adaptations for life on the wing are shaped in no small measure by the environments they favour on the ground. In this episode, we take to the skies to follow the life cycle of pelicans, hunt from the heavens with wedge-tailed eagles, stalk the night with barn owls, learn why vultures deserve more appreciation, and witness the aerial artistry of hummingbirds. More closely associated with the water than the sky, pelicans are among the heaviest of the flying birds, making their aerial feats all the more remarkable. With eight species spread around the world, pelicans range from tropical to temperate climates and are found on every continent except Antarctica. On the wing, these solid, long-billed birds are capable of travelling hundreds of kilometres a day, but prefer to congregate around inland and coastal waters. With a network of the air sacs beneath their skin and throughout their bones, the heavy pelican is made lighter in the air and its body is protected from impact as it dives into the water to catch fish. These air sacs also grant the birds incredible buoyancy, enabling them to float high in the water as they paddle with their strong legs and webbed feet. Working cooperatively, pelicans encircle schools of fish, beating their wings atop the water to drive them to the shallows. Here, the pelicans utilize their expanding throat pouch to scoop their prey up, along with liters of water. Contrary to popular belief, pelicans do not store food in their pouch, instead tipping it back to drain while immediately swallowing the fish. Growing up to half a meter, pelicans have the longest bill of any bird aiding in the efficiency of their specialized feeding technique. For all their adaptations to the water, pelicans remain expertly designed for the air. Weighing up to 15 kilograms, rows of additional flight feathers help overcome their bulk by generating additional thrust and lift. Huge wingspans, reaching three meters in some species, make pelicans particularly adept at gliding. Exploiting thermal updrafts and prevailing winds, they regularly soar to heights of 3,000 meters, where they adopt an aerodynamic position, covering vast distances with maximum efficiency.
Although able to commute hundreds of kilometers, pelican nesting sites are selected within close proximity to an abundant food source. Forming monogamous pairs for the season, males will gather nest building materials and, depending on the species, simple nests are constructed in trees or on the ground. Incubation of the eggs is shared by the parents and around a month later, the hatchlings emerge. Care for the young is also shared by the parents who feed their offspring by taking the hatchling's head into their pouch and vigorously regurgitating their catch. Adversely affected by diminishing fish stocks, pelicans are particularly susceptible to entanglement in floating debris often with fatal consequences. Nonetheless, they remain a versatile, wide-ranging bird and the population of most species is stable around the world. Of all the birds of prey, the largest and most powerful are eagles. With 60 species around the world, in the southern hemisphere, it is the wedge-tailed eagle that rules the skies. Occupying a range of habitat throughout Papua New Guinea, Indonesia and Australia, the mighty wedge-tailed eagle presides over its territory from above, favoring lightly timbered regions in which prey can be more easily spotted. Highly aerial eagle hawks, as they are also known, regularly take cruising altitudes of over 1,800 meters. Soaring for hours without wing beat, they effortlessly overshadow the life below. By eagle standards, at around five kilograms, wedge tails are lightly built, but their elongated proportions place them among the largest eagles in the world. Over a meter long and with a commanding wingspan of 2.8 meters, wedge tails are perfectly designed airborne hunters. Sharp talons immobilize prey with a grip strength thought to be ten times that of the human hand. A strong hooked beat is used in ripping flesh away from bone. And outsized eyes provide what is believed to be among the sharpest vision in the animal kingdom. The eagle hawk's choice of prey is based largely on convenience and they have a wide diet featuring mammals, reptiles, even other birds of carrion. In Australia, the introduced rabbit is frequently on the wedge tail's menu. Occasionally, prey can be alerted to the eagle's presence and take evasive action, trying its luck against the eagle's incredible maneuverability. Perching high in trees or other exposed lookout sites, the eagle rests from its hunt while keeping a constant vigil for the next opportunity. Adult wedge tails pair for life 
establishing a nest site that they will return to year after year and defend vigorously from intruders. Beyond the breeding area is a home range where they hunt for food. Extending to a hundred square kilometers, the home range is not defended as actively as their nesting site. But ownership is displayed in the air through high altitude gliding flights. While once the subject of bounties due to the belief that they targeted livestock, wedge-tailed eagles have in some ways benefited from human activity. Introduced species have provided greater feeding opportunities and in some cases, deforestation has expanded their hunting areas. Nonetheless, habitat disturbance can greatly affect eagle breeding cycles and care must be taken to ensure this awe-inspiring predator remains present in our skies. Designed for stealth, the barn owl's adaptations have proved successful in so many habitats that it is one of the most widespread bird species on the planet. Hunting under the cover of darkness, few predators, winged or otherwise, are as well equipped as the barn owl. Chief among its assets is a highly attuned sense of hearing with even the faintest noise directed to their ears by their flat radar dish face. Known as ghost owls for their eerily slow, silent flight, tiny serrations on their feathers along with soft plumage serve to break the flow of air over their wings and body, reducing disturbance as they move through the sky. Thus the barn owl can listen as they fly adjusting their path according to the movements of their prey, which remains unaware of the owl's soundless presence. Utilizing branches or other elevated positions to scan their surroundings, barn owls favor ground-based prey, with rodents a particular favorite. Rustling through ground cover or even moving beneath snowfall, little escapes this bird's auditory senses. Employing its long, broad wings for precise maneuverability, the owl descends upon its target, opening its slender, elongated talons to cover a wide surface area and seize hold of its quarry. Despite their adaptations to hunt by night, owls are rightly characterized as wise creatures and can modify behavior to suit their environment. As one of the most widely distributed of all bird species, barn owls are found on every continent except Antarctica. And in certain habitats, have become more active during daylight hours in line with the habits of their prey. In darkness or in light, disproportionately large eyes grant exceptional vision. Frontally placed, the eyes are fixed in position and barn owls have adapted to swivel their heads in order to take in their surroundings. Covering a range of around 270 degrees, they are able to see behind them without moving their torso minimizing any sound that may hint at their presence. Favoring open country, these birds have benefited from agricultural expansion, proportionally consuming more rodents than just about any other animal. Nest sites are often encouraged within farmland 
as a means of natural pest control. While toxins such as rat poison are harmful to bowen owl populations, the future of this surprisingly versatile bird appears assured around the world. Characterized as distasteful creatures, vultures have evolved to use the skies in order to perform a vital and thankless role in the ecosystems of the ground. A surprisingly diverse and widely distributed animal, there are 23 species of vulture spread across all the continents except Australia and Antarctica. Scanning the horizon from their perches, or soaring to incredible heights to cover vast territories, these scavengers of the sky employ incredible senses of sight and smell to detect dead animals from kilometers away. Rarely attacking healthy animals, vultures have adapted to feed almost exclusively on carrion. Unusually social members of the raptor family, vultures frequently roost and feed in large flocks. Their social nature is an asset when keeping watch for other potentially dangerous scavengers on the ground. However, ground-based scavengers often provide unwitting assistance to vultures. With relatively weak legs and blunt talons, vultures patiently stand by as their so-called competitors break open the tougher carcasses. And with exceptionally corrosive stomach acid, vultures can afford to be patient. Safely digesting putrid meat lethal to other animals, these unappreciated birds will wait to consume the leftovers preventing the spread of disease from rotting corpses. Known as the undertakers of the bird world, vultures have evolved to use the skies to keep watch for sick or vulnerable animals. While feathers are vital to flight and thus locating food, they can be a hindrance to a scavenger's diet. But with distinctive bald heads, vultures are able to feed without parasites and bacteria burrowing into their feathers and causing infection. Many species of vulture deliberately urinate down their legs in order to kill similar bacteria on their feet. Recent research has indicated that vultures' bare-skinned heads also plays a part in thermoregulation, with the birds opening their wings and stretching their necks to remove excess heat in hot climates. And hunching their bodies and tucking their heads to conserve heat in the cold. This ability to control body temperature is a significant factor in the wide distribution of vultures around the world. Despite their extremely resilient digestive systems, more than half of all vulture species are threatened by poisoning, with veterinary drugs used in livestock frequently transferred to vultures through feeding. Greater care is required to preserve these valuable birds and allow them to continue their unique role in maintaining the health of the ecosystems they inhabit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Taking the adaptation of flight to levels of artistry is the most acrobatic of bird species, the hummingbird. Among the smallest of birds, there are over 300 known species of hummingbird found across a range of habitats within the Americas. Flapping their wings at the incredible rate of around 50 beats per second, hummingbirds are so named for the audible hum their flight produces. Such a rapid blur of wing beats allows this artist of the air to achieve some truly remarkable feats. Able to fly in any direction, including backwards and upside down, there is nothing in the sky quite like the hummingbird. Hovering with an efficiency unmatched by the natural or man-made world, hummingbirds feed primarily on plant nectar. Assisting in pollination, this feeding behavior is mutually beneficial, and many hummingbirds have co-evolved with plant over millennia. The plants producing specifically shaped and colored flowers and the birds specialized beaks to access them. Speed is another asset of hummingbirds and during courtship displays to attract females, males will dive from the sky achieving the highest acceleration of any vertebrate in the world. Surprisingly, Hummingbirds can also cover vast distances, traveling to areas of higher food abundance during the winter months, relative to body size. Certain hummingbird species are considered to make the longest migration of any living bird. But the aerial mastery of the hummingbird comes at a cost. With the exception of insects, hummingbirds in flight have the highest metabolism of any animal. They must consume more than their body weight in nectar each day. Feeding is not without risk, and hummingbirds are vulnerable to predators as they visit hundreds of flowers to maintain their energy levels. But with the largest proportional brains in the bird kingdom, hummingbirds keep track of every flower they visit, calculating when the nectar supply will be replenished. Despite laying the smallest of all bird eggs, relative to body size, hummingbird eggs can be considered large. Frequently using spider silk to bind their nests, these constructions are able to expand as the chicks grow in size. With single females doing all the parenting and feeding duties, the period between hatching and leaving the nest is the most vulnerable in a hummingbird's life. Climate change is a significant factor in hummingbirds being listed as a vulnerable species. Increasingly sighted in locations well outside their normal range, researchers are concerned that the hummingbird's ability to forage is being adversely affected. The popularity of this remarkable bird may be its saving grace, with backyard enthusiasts providing artificial feeders, allowing some birds to refuel during hard times. The sky is all that lies above the Earth's surface, and no creature is better adapted to this ethereal other world than the last surviving dinosaurs, birds. In this episode, we have seen just a few of the nearly 10,000 birds of flight. Ungainly pelicans, ruthless wedge-tail eagles, stealthy barn owls, grim vultures, and high-speed hummingbirds. As bio-indicators, Birds reveal much about the state of our planet, and with increasing air pollution and habitat degradation, many species are in decline around the world, with over a thousand projected to face extinction in the next century.
restricting harmful emissions into our atmosphere and preserving wilderness areas on the ground will not only benefit the birds, but the overall health of the planet.